journey and future journey today we're coming to y'all with a video of his top five fragrances from my collection first of all we'll start out by talking about some of the fragrances that he wears on a daily basis yeah so with my collection we've got this fragrance hawaii wood this is like my daily driver wake up i put it on right after i put on my deodorant um i, cu I couldn't even describe you how it smells but I I've just, never smelled it, I don't think. He just gave it, he was, one day he was like, do you want this? I was like, sure, it looks like a fancy bottle, I'll take it, and then I just ran with it. Um, also, there's the uh, YSL one. Yeah, he loves YSL Long. That's one of his favorite fragrances. I have a big, I think it's like a 6.8 ounce bottle that I have been keeping. I haven't worn it because he's running out of his little bottle. So I've been keeping that for him, and uh, I will pass that along to him. Yeah. when he runs out of his other bottle yeah. so that's that's like my alternate daily driver but um for, if i'm going out somewhere let's say and say it's a young lady out there i uh <laughs> you know always get into trouble uh, uh i love this royal copenhagen 1775 valor uh we got it out of town one year we we're in orlando i think yeah. that's when i i wasn't even in the fragrance game but i always stopped in the little outlet stores when we would go to orlando in the outlet malls and we would always pick up some fragrances and i would always let him pick some up um just back then was just wearing like a daily driver fragrance wasn't in the notes or none of that so we definitely picked that one up in orlando yeah i used this as a daily driver for a while but i would always get a lot of compliments so i kind of save it I, I i save it for like mm -mm. This one. Well, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I, this, of course, I use the fragrance of Hawaii wood every day, and I don't really get it's. It's not the same effect as the Royal Copenhagen, so that's why I say Royal it. Copenhagen. What in the world is that? And then finally, for special occasions oh. like uh, like let's say I'm going out to eat somewhere, it's graduation, special night. I, like, I can get behind this. I like this John. What you? you John call, Barbados. What do you call it? <laughs> John Barbato. <laughs> Barbato. Uh, I don't. I don't know the name of it. Um, that's just. I think that's just the. That's just John Barbados. I think oh. that's like his signature fragrance. Oh. Well, I actually gave him that. Uh, I think I made an order with Fragrance Net or somebody, mm -hmm. and um, that was one of the fragrances that they sent with the samples. So now we're gonna get into his top five from my collection. Well, let's just say our collection. Well, no, um, no, because <laughs> these three are my collection. Well, look, I told him, <laughs> I told him, just be careful with your spray. You know what I'm saying? Because some of this stuff is very expensive. But first off, we're gonna start off with this one. I was kind of shocked he really liked it. Mm -hmm. I'll let you see it. This is Christian Dior. Oh, I this see. is Feb Deliciosis. Delicios, I guess that's it. Feb Delicios. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Fave Delicious. Fave Delicious. Delicious. This one is sweet, tonka bean. Um, just a real sweet fragrance. And I was shocked that he actually enjoyed this one. Yeah, I um it's it's sweet, but it's still got it's clean, it's sweet, but it's still kind of masculine. Um what was that that we had smelled earlier that I think it was a New York it was a bond? like a like that that was bond uh bond number nine uh manhattan smell like graham cracker cookie mm -hmm. no the rose one. Oh, that was bond number nine rose uh dang what's that rose bond number nine it's the rose bond number nine though mm. and he said it smelled feminine yeah it smelled feminine but this is this is another one of the this is like a clean fragrance but it's still got a little masculine a little sweet mm -hmm. it's not my favorite out of the five but this is definitely in the top five as you can see, his his taste is definitely changing. We didn't really have time to go all the way through the collection. He kind of just looked at some fragrances that he had been looking at in the collection, and we, we smelled them, and he actually enjoyed them. The next one up we're gonna go on with is one that I knew he would really like, yeah. and that's from the house of Bun Number Nine. It's Bleecker Street. This is one of the first niche fragrances I picked up uh, early on in my journey, and um, that one's actually it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. I First of all, I love this bottle. Shout out to New Orleans. Uh, I love <laughs> he this said bottle. Shout out to me. He was in college in New Orleans, so he's yeah. definitely rep representing New Orleans. Oh, man. Shout out to my guy, Rick the Ruler. He a New Orleans guy. Yeah. 
I it's clean, it. green. This is this is good cologne. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, can't deny that. It doesn't feel like it's trying to do too much. It it just feels like something that. I don't know. What, what's most important to me is what the ladies think. So. Oh, my God. If Who's I, the reviewer <laughs> to say, Coach Rob, that says what the ladies say is what I spray or something like that? Oh, no, exactly. my God. If I don't get compliments, I'm going to stop wearing it. Oh, <laughs> no. So he's definitely going to be wearing a lot of designers. Okay, the next one we'll go with is one that I was shocked that he liked. And I don't know if this is one... I think this is one that's a little bit outside of his box, but he's willing to step out of his box to try this one. And exactly. I think he liked it. Exactly. It's 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 my dark horse. It's my it's, it's my appealing to the what what do you what do you call y'all fragheads? Yeah. Fragrances? No, nah, <laughs> not fraghead. Frag community. I guess frag. Frag community. community, but the the animalic ooh. Which I don't think this one is that animalic, but if you know my taste, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you watch the channel, you know I like animalic. <laughs> what do you say? Pregnant what? Pregnant bear wet dog. Yeah, I like fragrances that are animalic. So this one doesn't seem really animalic to me. And the fragrance we're talking about is from the House of Guerlain. I made a voice Mysteria. And this is a beautiful fragrance. I already sprayed this on my hand. It does come off a little bit musky or with musk in it. Mm -hmm. And he's going out in a in a minute, so we don't want to spray all these fragrances on his body. Yeah. Like if he could make menstruating horse smell good. Oh my then, god, stop. Then this is this is definitely what I would say. Like it it smells like a horse right after a race. Oh. But it's it's clean though. It's it's like if, if woods, you wash that horse out. Woods, neroli, florals. It's got some myrrh, some leather. It smells great. I like it. I enjoy that one a lot. I feel like I feel like I'm starting to like these, like like how wine is. Okay. You, know, I, you have to develop a taste for it. Definitely, definitely there. Yeah. The next one up is one of my favorite fragrances of all time, and this is one that he has murdered my bottom. Gosh, it's like Look this, at this. It's like this much Look of the bottom. Look at this. Look at this. It's like this much of the bottom. Look at this. Li literally this much. This much. Bro, I ain't even worn this. Man, and I'm the guy. Damn. All right, let me get back to uh, what <laughs> Not even gonna spray it. <laughs> the fragrance is from the house of uh, Andy Tower. This is LDDM. This was also another one of my first niche purchases, and this is like an all time classic in my collection. I want to get the uh, Oda, I, mean, I guess I can't remember, uh, Ocor or. The EDP version of this. Oh, let me spray this. God. Man, you killed my bottle, bro. <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. I can see the, the, the pain in your eyes man, when you spray God, it. damn. That's so good. But this is goaded. That, this is, that this joint smells like you in the desert. Like, that joint just like dry desert. Like, that joint's crazy. It smells, it smells like that, that one when you find that oasis in the desert. Oh, my God. It's amazing. The cactus, oh my goodness, that Super cactus good. flower. This is look, if, that's if elite. you get rid of everything, oh, I will keep. I will, that's one keep of the that. bars I will keep. This is amazing. That's amazing. This is my number one. I remember I wore this. You I wore that to the prom? I got to wear that to, to prom and I got to wear it to my last debate tournament. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> did. Okay, the next one up is one of my favorite houses. People call me a fanboy from the house. I think I'm up to like eight or nine bottles from this. Uh, fragrance house and the fragrance we're talking about. I was shocked that he liked this one too. The fragrance we're talking about is Mel Ficini Little Song. I think this is so gosh damn dope. Uh, definitely a different take on coffee. That's coffee, that's rose. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, I like this. This, you know when I was talking about the the Felice, Felice, de, Felice, Navi, Felice de Locio? Oh, fair delicious. The, from Christian Dior. Yeah. I was I was referencing the, the Bond Rose one. Uh -huh. This reminds me of the Bond Rose, but you mix the coffee and then you get a real, it, it balances it out perfectly. This dude gonna be good. If he stick with the frag, frag, he's gonna be good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's, 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 that's good so good, stuff. man. That's good. I would say that's, probably, that's, that's probably number two. Man, that's coffee, rose. Oh my god, I think it's got some incense in it. 
Oh man, that is that, that's that's crazy good luck. Crazy good luck. Well, those are five fragrances from my collection that Future Journey really, really likes. We'll definitely be uh diving into some different fragrances here soon. Yeah. And um I think he's gonna start coming in on some of my reviews. Um I think he really enjoys being in front of the camera and actually <laughs> smelling fragrances and talking about them. So uh, he'll be on the channel a lot more. Uh, we should have some reviews coming on maybe Animal Mundane from uh, Pierre Guerlain. Oh, goodness. Not Guerlain. I can't pronounce his name. Animal name. Mundane. Guerlain? Guerlain? I think Pierre Guerlain. That review will be coming up soon. So hopefully everybody's blessed. Hopefully everybody enjoys their Sunday because it's back to the ground tomorrow for everybody. So um, yeah. if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you like any of the five fragrances Future Journey loved or the three fragrances that he said were his daily drivers or fragrances he wears a yeah, lot. Yeah, my, my, my little collection. His my little, little collection. My little baby collection. He's flawed. He can spray. It's some stuff he can spray, but not everything. But we'll talk about that. Absolutely not. We'll talk about that in another video. So hopefully everybody stays blessed. Shout out from us. Mm -hmm. We out. Peace.